Hi, this is Harold in China. I'm here in my compound and I want to tell what happened yesterday, Friday morning. I wanted to go to work and um, I was informed at the gate of the compound that there was a COVID case or a close proximity. Actually, they didn't say specifically what happened, but the whole compound is in isolation. Now, to be very clear, compound isolation is not the same as a citywide lockdown. But I'm personally now in a kind of lockdown situation where I can walk around in the compound, but I cannot go outside. The gates are closed. And um, I thought that's a good opportunity to talk about how that works in China now, the dynamic zero COVID policy that China has adopted. So in Shanghai for the last couple of months, there have always been some COVID cases in the city. Um, but always in very low numbers since the lockdown ended. And um, whenever a case appears, uh, they do very strict tracing. Where did the case come from? Who was in contact with the person who got infected? And then test everyone that was in close contact and also test the people who were around those close contacts to make sure that they can trace the spread. Now, if in a compound the case appears, they first of all close down the compound, meaning we cannot go outside to mingle in the city, meet other people. And then within this closed environment, they do daily PCR tests, COVID tests. And um, they actually separate in two types. So those who were direct close proximity to a COVID case, they get the COVID health code turned red and they will do the PCR test one by one. So meaning one person, one test, uh, test tube. Whereas people like me, I wasn't in contact with that person, whoever it was. And so we just do like five or 10 people for one test tube. That's mostly a financial uh, consideration, I assume. So our risk is lower. So that's why uh, they do like bundle together a couple of samples in one test and unless the thing overall is positive, then it's enough to have just 10 to 1, like 10 people tested in one. And um, so I got asked a, a really good question, like when they choose to isolate a compound, when they lock it down, how much time do people get in advance to uh, buy food, buy water, etc.? And in fact, these isolation of compounds, they don't mean that we cannot buy food. So in my case, this compound is actually very big. It even has shops inside. There's even a barber shop. I could get a haircut right now. Uh, maybe I should. <laughs> and um, besides the shop inside the compound, we can also order online. Like we can order food. We can uh, order, um, you know, shopping online that works. And it's just... The, the people who usually uh, deliver these uh, goods, they're not allowed to come inside the compound. So what instead they do, they deposit whatever they're delivering at the gate. And then these um, people who, who, who administer the gate, they take these packages inside and we can pick it up from the inside. And now at this border between um, inside and outside, there are these guys in the white hazmat suits now, I know it looks kind of maybe scary for some people because you cannot see their faces, you don't know who they are, um, and, and because, frankly, they've been used a lot by Western media to, to tell us how evil and, and, and dangerous China is. Um, but in fact, they're, um, they're officials who have experience how to manage such a situation. And their parents, they, they have a family, they have a life. So you want to protect their uh, health as well. That's why they wear these hazmat suits. It's nothing uh, about scaring people or anything. Um, I mean, it's not a huge risk. I'm walking around here. I wear the mask because that's, uh, I mean, it makes sense. I don't want to get infected. That's for sure. Um, and there has been a case nearby. So you have to kind of consider that there's slightly elevated risk. Now, those people, they're sent specifically always to the locations where there's heightened risks. So it's only fair to give them proper, um, proper uh, tools, proper kit to wear so that they're as protected as possible. And 
also why why do we not allow the delivery people or why are the delivery people not allowed to come inside the compound that's obviously because you don't want to um, get them into the risk zone of getting infected and of maybe even carrying the virus out of a compound where this virus has been found so so this is how how the rationale works behind these closed downs and you can imagine so it's just closed down for a few days it's actually not like the citywide lockdown was really a different thing and that's also why a lot of people in shanghai were shocked and angry because announced was a three-day lockdown and then it got extended and extended and it turned out to be three months um in in my compound they didn't say how long but i know from experience from a colleague who had a similar situation in his compound that um, they were out in after like two days so they did two covid tests all turned out negative so they were sure okay we have isolated this area where a case was found we check if that case has spread already in that area and if it hasn't then we open up the area again so there's no sense of panic there's no sense of of massive anger or frustration or you know it's not it's not impeding our dignity or anything it's not a serious problem it's an annoyance like if i had had any big plans for this weekend now i'm not allowed to go outside even though my personal test has been negative yeah of course i would be pissed i would be angry i would be disappointed and i did hear some people yesterday they were shouting at the communist party representation office which uh, manages like the relationship between the communist party and the people at the very local level so there's also in this current isolation there's several uh, communist party officials who are responsible for this compound they also stay here in the compound they live here uh, we can talk to them if we have a grievance if there's a serious problem and they have to try to solve the issue if they fail to solve it themselves they at least can carry those complaints forward to whoever is in charge uh, in in higher authorities and that's basically how the communist party works with the population and that's also the reason why it's it's so popular and so well established among the people i mean you know there's grievances people are angry life is not perfect in china but um the communist party is really a, an institution that's very local and talks to the local people on a very regular basis and whenever you have a problem with them you can go to their office and talk to them and that's why it doesn't feel like there's some faraway politicians who oppress the people um it's more like the situation is oppressive the situation is annoying and not just this this isolation case now these few days in in this compound but more in general the covid situation a lot of chinese are fed up but they're not blaming it they're certainly not blaming it on the chinese leadership which does everything to end covid they're blaming it a lot more on western countries which failed to contain covid and that's why it keeps coming back to china um yes i hope i've answered some questions again um, food water is not an issue because we can simply buy that from outside and get it delivered or or we can go to a shop inside the compound then the covid tests they happen on a daily basis and they even set up additional covid uh, test stations normally there's like one or two in the whole compound but th because it's a big compound and most people usually would just get the test at work or like i always do it during during daytime at, at my office um, but these days because we cannot go out obviously there's a lot more people who have to do the test here so they temporarily set up there was a station actually right here at the gate and they've already um uh, they, they've set it up in the morning they did the tests called out the people everybody please come out do the test and now it's already gone again so so they work very efficiently very quick and um, they know what they're doing like in the first 
half day I felt a bit uncertain because I hadn't experienced the situation but the the people who are organizing this like they set up a stand where they put all the deliveries from outside so you can just pick them up inside the compound and and you can tell these are experienced people who have done this many times and they try to minimize the negative impact on the people and Last thing I want to say, in the morning there were a lot of people outside here, everybody was doing the COVID test and um, uh, getting food, like buying vegetables, etc. And now people voluntarily go back to their uh, apartments. As you can tell, nobody <laughs> asks me not to be outside. We could be outside, we can be outside, but nobody wants to be the one who got infected because they felt like they had to be outside in a compound that we know has had a case recently and that's kind of the wisdom the smartness of the Chinese people they don't feel the need to test the waters to take risks that are not necessary and don't help anyone so um, yeah that's how I perceive the mood here when I was walking maybe you saw some people in the background a mother playing uh, some badminton with her kid which is great I mean if you have a kid please do go outside it's good it's important for kids especially lots of people are kind of hiding out for two days i didn't see many people right now in the morning i saw some people that i wouldn't want to film to be honest because you know it's like you're not going outside you're among your neighbors and some you know women don't put on makeup some people actually come outside in their pajamas because they just feel like it's just the neighborhood and they dress accordingly so I don't want to put them on an international video platform when they dressed to be seen only by neighbors that's why I try to avoid filming many people but I hope I still could give you somewhat an impression of what it looks like when a compound gets isolated and I hope you understand that while it's annoying and while it can really hurt your plans if you had just for this week and a really big plan yes that's very annoying but it's not something that's like devastating that's like hurting the people or make them feel oppressed by some evil outside forces that's not the sentiment that I get so with that thanks for watching please share like and comment ask more questions I will try to answer them in future videos thank you very much